What is going on YouTube? John here from IncomeMesh.com. I received a comment on my channel the other day from somebody who wasn't very happy about a recent video I made about Glorify. So Mr. Goshenweb says that the background remover in Glorify does not look pristine at all. You know, jagged edges, yada, yada, yada. Buyers need to be aware so they don't get disappointed. So in this video, I want to go through three a bit more real world scenarios using the background remover. And by the end of the video, you will have a crystal clear view on if this is a professional enough tool for your use. Uh, because in the previous video, I will link down in the description below to the video he's referring to. I used probably the worst possible image. It was my wife and I sitting at a sushi bar and there's a lot of different background stuff going on that could make some noise in our image when it comes to the automatic background removal tool of Glorify. But if you haven't seen that video and you're curious why I'm making it, Glorify is currently ending their lifetime deal. Uh, the commenter goes on to say, if I think the lifetime deal is for real. I don't even know what that means. A lifetime deal is what it is. They're a newer software tool. So there's a deal that's ending in about three days. So you can go ahead and check it out. It's ending at the end of January, 2020. Um, so for the lifetime deal, this is a short lived video, but for the actual quality of the background removal, this video will be evergreen. All right. So if you're interested in this, you can head over to the link in the description below. It is incomemesh.com slash glorify. So now let me go ahead and walk you through three different real world scenarios using the background removal tool and you can judge for yourself. All right. So what I did before recording this video, I pulled up my little photos and we're going to try three different videos. This is one where I have a very, you know, a mixture of backgrounds. I'm going to save this image to my desktop. We'll call this a grassy picture. We're gonna, so I'm doing no processing. I'll skip over that one because it's kind of the same. I'll take this one here, which is on the uh, counter laptop. And I will go over to not that one. This one here is a kind of different one, just a water bottle on a, it's not like a white or green background. It's just a background that's a stark contrast to the item in the foreground. So we'll call this bottle shot. All right. So we got those three images. These are the things we're going to test out. So now I'm going to pop over to my glorify account. And let's just make a, let's say YouTube video size of video. We're going to make some thumbnails here and we're going to include uh, those shots into the thumbnail. We could really start from any blank image. This just gives us that nice 16 by nine shape. And so to use the background removal tool, all you have to do, let's start with the first one first, the grassy photo. I'll just drag the photo from my downloads area directly onto the canvas and boom, there we go. I'll expand it to be the full size of the picture. And now I'll click over here on the background remover, remover. And honestly, this is probably the hardest of the um, images. There's the most stuff going on. And like, all right, you guys be the judge. Like, I, I don't know if this is not good enough for y'all, but let's kind of scroll in here. What I can do, like what I'd recommend you do is really scrolling. Okay, so I see some spots here that might be able to be trimmed out. So I'm going to click over to my red trimmer and just get a little bit closer and you can see how it tightens up. So down here as well, a little closer. And what I'm actually doing, just so you guys know what my eyes are doing, I'm looking over on the right hand side and then I'm getting the marker directly on the spot that I think could have been trimmed a little bit better and I'm trimming there. Okay. And so now if I zoom out, take a look to me, that's, I don't know, call, call me a simpleton but I don't see much jaggedness. I've got some jagged hair right now. I probably need a haircut, uh, but, and maybe I can get a little bit there. So to me, I'm going to pass this one as being good enough. Um, you know, we're talking about doing this in seconds, not minutes or hours. I, he mentioned a few other programs that also have similar functionality. I, I don't know guys, like this works for me. So I'm going to hit done on this one. And there we go. Well, let's just make this a little bit smaller. This is image number one. Y'all be the judge, leave a comment down below if you think that is enough for most online purposes. Now, I'll, I will give credit. If your entire life is around building logos and graphics designs, yeah, get yourself the top of the line tools. Get yourself whatever you need. Um, if this is just a means to the end of getting your word out there, doing promotion, whatever you need for your business, that's more what I'm thinking about. Or if you're, if you're doing client work and you need to be able to make e-commerce products. So this second example here might be more like an e-commerce example 
where this laptop, we're going to try to put this onto a cool product shot. Again, this is my kitchen counter. I didn't even clean up the drawings that my kids are working on before recording the video. I'm going to click into the background remover tool. It'll load it up real quick. And there you go. So again, I'm just going to be a little critical here. Let's take a look. I can't see anything. And also, this wasn't even like full resolution imagery that I pulled from my um, from my Google Pixel, which is what I was taking the pictures from. Super high tech. As I'm searching around, guys, like, and the only reason why this is kind of jaggedy is that's where like the volume rockers are and the power buttons are. So that actually is a jagged edge that I need to have. But everything else is looking pretty solid. So maybe down here, okay, maybe down here, that shadow, maybe they should be a bit stricter on the shadow. I don't know, let's see, did that make it better or worse? I guess I need to take all the shadows out. You get the idea, right? There, ooh, that was a little too much. Come back in. Maybe that's a little better. Let's remove the shadow here. So you can get nitpicky with it. I don't know, I don't know if this is making it any better or worse. So I think it did a really good job. It is definitely, I mean, that that shadow on it is definitely throwing the program for a loop. Eesh, I think I'm getting worse as I go. So I'm going to hit back, 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 back. And honestly, I personally, I'm just going to take out all the stuff I've done. I'm hitting back and it's removing the edits I made because I feel like what it popped out down there was better than once I started making the adjustments. You guys be the judge for yourself. Just kind of looking around. I'm good with it. I'll hit continue. And what I'll also do here is let me put on a background color for the entire canvas so we can show some contrast here. Uh, let's do like a light blue. Okay. So now you can see how it appears versus an existing background color. Cool. All right. Test number three. Let's go just drag on my bottle shot. Add this guy in. And here we go. You know exactly what we're going to do now. We're going to come straight over to BG Remover. And look at that. So as we kind of just scroll around, again, I'm looking at the right hand. This is The right hand is the output. The left hand is the input. Kind of what's going through. I'm scanning between the two of them. And I'm looking for things I could do to improve the process done here. Maybe that pixel there could be removed, but like we're, I think we're kind of splitting hairs here. I'm happy with it. Hit done. Now I can see it on that full blue. What's even cool here, check this out. What I haven't shown you guys is I can also add a drop shadow to the image. And let's do shadow. I don't like that. Let's, let's do drop shadow instead. There we go. So I can add this drop shadow here. And I think... If I rotate it around, it's going to keep the shadow in the same. You see what's happening here? Like the sun is over here or like the, the light source is over here. And as I rotate it, it's respecting the shape and it's keeping the shadow smart. I don't know what else to say. Like it's keeping the perspective of that. I can also increase the horizontal distance and make it kind of over there. I can put it right on top. So what's common is just adding some depth by putting the shadow directly behind it. So as you go here, boom. All right. So there you go. I'm um, not going to do anything with this image, but let me just uh, download it so you can see. I'll download it as download it as a PNG. And let's just take a look at it. And this is the finished, finished touch, finished image. Also remember, I'm not going to be using 5 megabyte, 10 megabyte images for any online business use, right? Like this is a 720 pixel image uh, for a YouTube thumbnail. So I don't know, like to me, this is good. When I make a recommendation as affiliate marketer, uh, it's not just for the commission. It's because like in my assessment, these things are, are worth the recommendation. So from this, for the pure time efficiency and the quality of the output, like <laughs> I can wholeheartedly give this my, my endorsement here. Of course, something's gonna come around two years from now or you know, two months from now even, and it might be just as good, in which case we might talk about that then. Uh, but for right now, if you're watching this video and you're looking for a tool to do background removal, um, check out Glorify. Like it's it's a good tool. Uh, Incomemesh.com/glorify. And as for the commenter, 
this guy, Mr. Goshen Web, you know, thank you for your feedback. Thank you for keeping me honest because you guys help bring out any things I might have glossed over in a previous video. And while my previous video was not intended on being a full fledged review of Glorify, because I've already done that, and it was also showing additional tools to your point that can get similar jobs done. Um, it helps make me better to give additional and even more follow-up videos like this to help you make the right decision. Uh, I would prefer more positive feedback. So if you like this, if you like me kind of uh, taking the feedback head on and providing additional value from it, please leave us a like to this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, do all that stuff that you do, share the video. You know, one thing for fun, I'm just going to go ahead and get a drink of water. So I'm going to put this over here and um, I'm going to check that out. So let me, let me have some fun now since probably should just cut the video here, but I'm gonna have some fun with it. Like this is a pretty cool tool if you can do stuff like that and it kind of looks okay, right? So if you want to have some fun with your videos and you know, be able to do this where you can group them together and now I'm grouped together with my water bottle and then I can make myself smaller with my water bottle and everything works just like you want it to. I'm wasting time. I'm wasting your time. I'm so sorry. I'll cut it off here in commesh.com slash glorify. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.